Hey guys, it's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I pack in my carry-on bag. I'm actually currently packing for a trip. We, Cash and I, my boyfriend, we are leaving this weekend to go to Ireland. We planned this for our five-year anniversary a while ago, so this has been in the works for quite a while, and I'm just so, so excited to travel and see a new place and just travel with my boyfriend. I'm so excited. Traveling is one of my favorite things in this world. It brings me so much joy just to see a new place, experience a new culture, and just be in a completely different world and just see things that I've never seen before. Traveling is really one of my favorite things and I love it. So since I travel all the time, I pretty much have my packing down to a science because A, I'm neurotic, B, I plan my life out, and C, I've just traveled so much that I know what I need and what I don't need to bring on an airplane. Of course, I will be vlogging the entire trip when Cash and I are in Ireland, so stay tuned for that on my channel. That will obviously be up after we come back, but I am just so excited to see, oh, Ireland looks breathtaking, and I'm just so, so excited. The weather is supposed to be really good, so hopefully it stays like that, and I'm just, really excited. So without further ado, if you guys want to see my essentials and what I pack in my carry-on bag, then let's get straight into the video. Okay, before I show you what's actually in my bag, I'm going to show you the bag itself. So I honestly have lived 24 years of my life without like a proper carry-on luggage or a bag. I recently just got these and I am absolutely obsessed and this has been a game changer since I've gotten it. I I told myself once I came back from LA, which I just came back from a couple weeks ago, that I needed a proper carry-on luggage and a carry-on bag because my luggage was all over the place and it got lost in the airport because my flights got canceled in LA. It was a disaster and I just needed a luggage and a really good carry-on bag because I do pack a lot of equipment when it comes to my photography and just my laptops and stuff. It can get really heavy so I decided to invest and get some good bags. So I'm going to share with you guys. I'm obviously just going to be showing you my carry-on bag that I bring on with me to the airplane, but I will share with you my luggage that I have as well, just in case if you're curious. This is the bag that I'll be showing what's inside. This is kind of like my essentials bag, what I bring on an airplane, what I pack and what I need like right then and there if I'm going on an airplane. And then obviously carry-on bag, you pack your clothes in there if you're going for a short trip or whatever, but I'll show you that. So this is like my essentials bag. This has literally changed my life since I've gotten it. I use this for photo shoots if I'm shooting a ton of outfits. Um, so if you're a blogger, this bag is absolutely perfect. If it's everything, if it's my tripod, there's even, I'll show you like the, comp the compartments and stuff, but it is a fantastic bag just for traveling because there's so much space and the handles are amazing. I can't tell you how many bags I've used that just dig in my arm and, uh, and rip. This is just really great quality and it's not that expensive for considering luggage can be, I know carry-on luggage is at least $230, $200. This was a really good price. I'm obsessed with it. So it is the brand Base. If you guys haven't known, this is a relatively new brand that Shay Mitchell, if you don't know who that is, an actress from Pretty Little Liars. She created her own traveling, her own travel brand because she does, She's. I guess she's technically considered a travel vlogger, blogger, whatever she does now. Um, but she just created this new travel brand and she came out with makeup cases, carry-on stuff, and like this was one of the bags that she came out with. So this is the Weekender bag. I decided to get the cream color just because it matched my other luggage and it's just my aesthetic. I love neutrals. So this is the bag. I will do, I'll change the angle so you guys can see more inside of it, but I'm going to show you guys the compartments and then I'll share with you guys what I pack. Okay, so this is the bag. Okay, so it comes with a front pocket, which is good. You can put your phone, your boarding pass in here, whatever your little heart desires. Um, and then turning on the back, there is this. So I love this about this bag. So there's a little pocket right here that you could either use for like your boarding pass or your phone. Again, I just have my phone in here, um, but you can also change this into a slot that can go over your um, carry-on luggage. So it slides on the handlebars so you don't have to hold it on your arm and carry your luggage. It slides on the handles and you can just rest it on top, which I loved. So there's extra storage and also just a place for it to hold on your luggage. So there's also a pocket on the bottom of this bag that unzips, I'll show you guys, that you can put um, a pair of shoes, you can put an extra outfit, whatever your little heart desires. So underneath here is where I put my DJI. Um, this is for like filming equipment, but this is just a stabilizer. So yeah, I put that in the bottom and it's safe keepings, but you guys can literally put anything below here. I think it would be great for a pair of shoes or maybe a makeup bag or something, but I just love all the storage and compartments in this bag. Okay, now opening up to the actual bag. So it opens up like this. One thing I loved about this bag is was 
it had hard sides. I really love that about the design of this bag and it fits so much of my stuff and even fits my tripod in here so I can close it up and go on my way. So as you guys can see, my carry-on is fully packed. So I'm gonna show you guys what I pack inside of here. So starting with electronics, obviously I have my phone. That's kind of an essential. You need your phone to watch movies, to listen to music, uh, order Ubers, your boarding pass, whatever. So obviously this is my phone if you guys are curious. This is my phone case and I got it from Caseify. I will try and link it down below for you, but this obviously essential. And then in here, there is a laptop pouch. So I just open that up right here and I store my iPad and my laptop in here. So the reason why I bring two of these, it's kind of excessive, but I bring my laptop because I do a ton of work on it. I like to do work on an airplane, especially for a long trip like we're going to Ireland. So it's gonna be a pretty lengthy, trip so I can edit videos, watch movies, stuff like that. Um, you always want to be prepared because nothing is worse than being bored on an airplane. So I like to bring my laptop, do some work, um, do some emails, stuff like that, or even watch a movie. And then this is just for extra battery. I like to read books on here. I have a ton of books in here. I download Netflix shows and movies. If you guys didn't know, you guys can download them and you can watch them on the airplane. So I do that as well. This is just another thing just in case if my phone or my laptop dies, I have this to read and just entertain me. So I put these two right in here, safekeeping. Another thing I love about this bag is the lining of this bag is, water, is waterproof. So if you happen to spill something or if you wanna use this for a beach bag or something, it's fully lined so you can you can spill anything in here and nothing, it won't like seep through the bag, which I love. Okay, so the next thing that I have in here is obviously my a vlog camera. This is my vlog camera, but if you're not a vlogger or a YouTuber, you obviously don't have this but I pack my camera. I like this because of the fact that since I upgraded to this vlog camera, it's a little bit bigger. Um, this just protects it a little bit better because I did have a smaller camera, which was nicer, but this definitely has more features than my other camera. So I need this baby to stay safe, so it works in here. So I pack my vlog camera. The next thing I have is this clear bag right here that is filled with all of my chargers and um, batteries and stuff like that. For this trip, yes, we do have a converter, so that's another thing that we had to pack. So I'll just show you guys what I have. So I have this little thing right here. I honestly have no idea where this is from, but I just found it. And what I do is I keep my extra SIM cards in here. So that's for like my vlog camera and stuff like that. So there's that. Obviously I have my laptop charger. That's an essential, you can't have it die. So I feel like this is self-explanatory. You guys need your chargers. Let me wrap this up real quick. Okay, so the next thing is obviously my iPhone charger. This cord is three feet long. It is absolutely amazing. It hasn't broken on me. And most of the iPhone chargers, they fray at this part of the iPhone charger. And this has lasted me so long. I think Cash got this off of Amazon. So I will try and link this down below. But this, I love this charger. So I have my converter in here. And then I have my, um, Ir the Ireland plug, but... I've had this since I studied abroad in, if you guys have been following for that long, I studied abroad in Italy like three, four years ago and I've had this since and it is still going strong. I'm pretty sure I got this off of Amazon as well, but it's the brand Plug Bug and it comes with literally every plug for everything. So I have one for, um, for Asia, for Europe, I use this for Mexico, it comes with everything. So I'll try and find that and link, for you, link that for you guys. Then I just have my charger um, battery thing for my vlog camera. And then this is for the uh, laptop to put the SIM card into just because the new laptops for Apple don't have that little input anymore. So I had to buy this, so there is that. Again, this doesn't really apply to you if you're not a YouTuber. I have an external charger as well. This is a game changer and I'm so happy that Cash let me use his when I was in LA because I actually lost battery. Um, so I ended up buying myself one. So this is a game changer if you are just out the whole day, if you're always on your phone like me, I'm always editing pictures, posting, and on my phone. So an external charger is a must for me. So I got this one from the Ryzen store, but I will link, I'm pretty sure this only does two chargers, but I will link Cash's because his does three chargers and it's literally the same size. It's small and it's compact. And then last but not least, headphones. Yes, I still use the cord headphones. I know, I need to get a pair of the AirPods, I know. I haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet, but I heard they're absolutely amazing. So maybe one day I'll get them. So yeah, I just keep all of this stuff in this bag. I love that it's clear so I can see where everything is. This bag actually came with this bag. So it says Jen Akin and, oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, no, this came with my carry-on luggage. I forgot to show you guys, but I will show you. I ordered the Calpac and Jen Akin um, carry-on luggage, the black one, and this pouch actually came with it. So. 
I am using this for my carry-on bag. I love that it's big and it's clear and I can keep all of my technology stuff in here. So I'm just gonna pack that back up and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so the next thing in here is a book. I like to pack a book just in case if I, hi Midnight, you wanna say hi? Okay. He wants to come into the video. Well, anyway, I pack a book just in case if I get tired of my music or my movies or shows. Um, I pack this just for extra entertainment. The one I'm currently reading now, I've been reading for a while. I don't read that much. I only read really on planes. So this is the one I've been reading. It is um, In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware and it's like a murder mystery and those are my favorite to read. So I pack a book. Obviously passports if you're going internationally. This is the vlog handle that I use. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it down below, but it just hooks onto my vlog camera and then I can just hold it and record myself. So there's that as well. The next thing I pack is a hairbrush because if you're sitting on a long plane, nothing's worse than your hair tangling. You like to refresh, go into the bathroom, brush your hair, you know. So this is my favorite one. It is the wet brush. I've had this for so long. You can get them Ulta. I think they're like five bucks, but it's the best brush ever so I pack one of them. The next thing I like to pack in here is like extra bags so if you are bringing a bag that you want to carry with you like um, a luxury bag or a luxury items you always want to pack them in your carry-on god forbid you never know. I know actually a lot of people that have their that have had their bags broken into so you always want to carry your most expensive items with you. So I am bringing one of my bags with me. I'm bringing my Gucci bag with me. So I just keep that right in here in the protective case so it doesn't get ruined, but that's what I'm bringing. And then I'm also bringing this fanny pack. I am obsessed with this. I wear it across the body and it's so good for traveling. And I just pack that in here and I can throw my wallet, my keys, my phone in here and it's attached right here so no one can steal it from me. So this is a go-to for me, a must when I'm like going out or if I'm traveling. So I just pack that in here as well. Hi, do you want to be in it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is an umbrella. I don't normally pack this, but Ireland, if you guys didn't know, they are really known for getting lots of rain. So just in case if it starts raining, I have an umbrella for us. And another cool thing about this bag is it actually has a hook that's attached to this. This is actually from one of my handbags, but you can attach your, um, your keys on here. I know one of the most annoying things ever about a handbag is you lose your keys at the bottom of it. So there is an attachment for it, but I just hooked this little bag on there. And what I did was I kept my pens and my lip balm in here. My favorite one is the Fresh Beauty Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. This one is amazing. Um, and then I just kept my lip stuff in here just in case if I wanted to put some on. But I don't like to keep that like out because just in case if it leaks. My go-to is um, MAC Honey Love with stripped down a liner and for gloss, the Buxom full-on lip polish in the shade Samantha, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Samantha. So I just keep my stuff in here so it doesn't get all over the place and it's attached. And then lastly, let me flip the bag around so you guys can see. There is pouches for like your phone or your sunglasses and there's another pouch right here that you can keep more stuff in. So there is a ton of storage in this bag. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. What I, what I keep in here are my glasses and my sunglasses. So I have my regular glasses in here. I'm bringing these, but also I pack these as well, which are my blue light glasses. If you guys don't know what blue light glasses are, they are just glasses that have blue frames that protect your eyes from blue light, which is from like your phone or your computer or just like technology. So it really helps with eye strain and headaches. I get a lot of headaches when I'm on my phone and my computer, especially on a long flight, if you're watching movies. So I'd like to bring these, but I'm bringing my glasses this time because it is a longer flight and I do need these to read and stuff. And my glasses are already have the blue light lens in them, which is really nice. You guys, you guys if you go to like any normal eye doctor or eyeglass store, you can ask for the blue lights to be put in them. So I'm bringing these instead of both of them because they both have the blue lights, but I need these to read. So I am packing them. I will leave a link to the blue light glasses um, that I have right here. I'll show you guys what they look like. They're really cool. I used them on my trip to LA since it wasn't too long. They're just aviator style glasses and they protect your eyes from eye strain. There's a ton of different frames, um, but this is just the one that I picked out. And then I'm packing my sunglasses. I don't really, I just pack them right in here. These are my sunglasses that I'm bringing. These are from And Other Stories. I am obsessed with this frame. I love them. And then I just pack a little pouch in here with all of my rings and my jewelry and my earrings and stuff. This is just one that I got from like Lulu's when I ordered um, a ring, but I just keep that in a little pouch and put that right in here with the rest of my glasses and stuff like that. And then in this pouch, I don't really have anything in here. 
Um, all they have is some deodorant. You always need deodorant on a plane just in case. You never, you never know. You want to freshen up. So I have my coconut oil Capari deodorant. This is amazing. It's the best non-aluminum one that I have used. And I have used a lot. I've used a lot. So this is the by far the best one. I'm obsessed with this. And then I just packed a little face mask. This is really random. It's a sheet mask, but I always like to pack a sheet mask for a flight, no matter what the length is, just because my skin really does react badly to flights. It starts breaking out and it gets really dry. So I always want to have a hydrating sheet mask. This is just a random one. I think this is one of the ones that I got in a PR box, but yeah, I like to bring these. Some of my favorite ones are the honey mask that I get from, I think it's from Anthropology, but I'm pretty sure Revolve and Sephora has them as well. And then if you're looking for like an inexpensive one, the Neutrogena ones, uh, they're either blue or pink. I'm not quite sure what it is, what the name of it is, but they're phenomenal. So any sheet mask is always an essential or eye masks for a long flight to revive your skin. And that is basically it. Let me just pack all this back up. Okay, so this is my carry-on bag. That is all of my essentials and everything that I put in my carry-on bag. I will quickly show you guys my carry-on luggage and that will be it for the video. Okay, so this is my carry-on luggage. I am obsessed with it and I'm so happy that I finally have a carry-on luggage. So this is the Calpac and Jed Atkin collaboration. It is so, so cute. So it comes in a black color, a rose, a beige, and a red. They're all amazing colors, but I went with the black one. This is such a good luggage. It's my first time owning Calpac and I am really, really obsessed with it. The handles are great quality. Um, it spins so you can roll it instead of having to actually like use it as a luggage. Um, it comes with the most adorable freaking stickers ever, if you guys want to see. I decorated it and customized it, so I put the airplane window on the back. This sticker says, catch flights, not feelings, which is freaking adorable. And then this one down here with a little heart says, please don't steal me. Please don't. So that is the back. And then on the top, I put in my name, I just wrote my name, Noelle. And then on the front, I thought this was so freaking cute. This was my favorite sticker. So I put it across and it says, caution, emotional baggage, which I think is so funny and so cute. So yeah, this is amazing. And then it has really great locks that are TSA approved that open up right here. And this is just the bag itself. It has two front compartments and then you can pack more in here and then you can also pack more in here as well that unzips. But this is the best bag that I have found. I'm obsessed with it and I'm so excited to use it for my trip. And yeah. Oh, one last thing I want to show you guys. This um, is something that I bring with me while I travel too as well. It is always good to have like a tiny wallet. I use it on a daily basis and I like it way more than having just like a huge wallet. I got this from Anthropology, but it's like a zip pouch and I keep all my credit cards in here. Um, and cause you don't really need to bring all of your stuff with you when you travel, but yeah, I just bring a couple cards and it's hooked up to my keys, which is really nice. So that's another thing I, that I pack. I will link this one or a similar, a similar one if they don't have this like style, but it's really cute. There's little stars on it. But yeah, that is another thing that I packed for my trip. Other than that, we are all set. I'm ready to go. I'm packed for Ireland and I'm so excited. Okay, so that is all I have to share with you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. Again, I will leave everything, my carry-on bags and everything I shared with you guys in today's video linked down in the description box to make it easier for you guys to shop. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my Ireland vlog that I will be uploading and also my future uploads as well. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in Ireland.